Bereshith, Genesis 3. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahuwah Elohim had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, has Elohim said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For Elohim knows that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as Elohim, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her man with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the eth voice of Yahuwah Elohim walking in the garden, in the cool of the day. And the man and his woman hid themselves from the presence of Yahuwah Elohim amongst the trees of the garden. And Yahuwah Elohim called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are you? And he said, I heard your at voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded you that you should not eat? And the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And Yahuwah Elohim said unto the woman, What is this that you have done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And Yahuwah Elohim said unto the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon your belly shall you go, and dust shall you eat all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed, and it shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In sorrow you shall bring forth children, and your desire shall be to your man, and he shall rule over you. And unto Adam he said, Because you have hearkened unto the voice of your woman, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In sorrow you eat. Rather, shall you eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to you, and you shall eat eth the herb of the field. In the sweat of your face shall you eat bread, till you return unto the ground. For out of it were you taken, for dust you are and unto dust shall you return. And Adam called his woman's name Chua, because she was the mother of all living. 
Unto Adam also and to his woman did Yahuwah Elohim make coats of skins and clothed them. And Yahuwah Elohim said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. And therefore, Yahuwah Elohim sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till eth ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out eth the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden Eth Kuravim and Eth a flaming sword, which turned every way to guard the way of the tree of life.